Oh, oh, wow, wow. It's plank. It's plank. There's no, There's video. no video. There's no There's audio. No audio. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this, right, this from, right the from the beginning. Hey, hey, hey. I got an I idea. Know how we're gonna, gonna do that, do that too. too. Watch this. <laughs> this is gonna be kind of tricky. We'll leave it at that. We can't leave it like that. It's too long. We're at 15:24. You gotta get under 15 well, minutes. We're Try gonna save this. We need 14, some bass in here. 59. Okay. Please get your okay. bass out. Okay. We get knocked it down. We got it down going. to 1449. Uh, so this one will we'll be able to finish it up, put it, it right in a can, and Start post it. Base, please. Cut, print, and post later on. We're still working on it. I'm ha I'm not even halfway. We're just at the beginning of this build. Alice Frontier. I told you I was going to build a place for her. And here you go. She got her whole little township area. We're going to make her a little area over there where her camp might be. Um, we're going to do a couple of different things. Um, I'm getting the buildings and the stuff set up. And it's going to be like a little frontier look kind of town. So I need to put a hat place in there. I think I do have one in there. So that they'll just sell cowboy hats. Or western type hats. And that's what we'll have them selling over there. But that's her spotlight. That's her spot. That's, I got... I have her assigned to that spot there so she won't move from there she will sit there and then I have the facility across for the faculty it's a rec a little rec center where she can go and relax and then come back out and then um, do her thing for the cost for for the, our guests and that's what she'll be working on we're gonna finish that up tonight um I want to do some world of warships tomorrow I got a few things done on Planet Coaster on the PC, so I'm going to be doing some more work on that later too, because while I'm doing battles here on the PlayStation, in between while I'm waiting, I can go ahead and jump on that, do some work on that, and then jump into the battles and back and forth, because sometimes it takes a while to queue up uh, for a battle. Queue up. <laughs> That's something I picked up when I was in England. <laughs> you stand in a queue. That's a line. <laughs> Just like I went first time over in England. I, trying to figure out why they're selling so many boots. Because they have boot sales everywhere. Not till I found out that the boot was the trunk of the car. So they were having a rum sale. A car sale. Out of the trunk of their car. The place where they set up their little... Um, little areas and everybody would bring their stuff and they'd sell it at the little fairs it's, it was cool I mean you go to these all over, you find some neat stuff at these little fairs and stuff like that but that's one thing that was over in England is um I remember that uh, actually we had some good times um Barry St. Edmunds we went there because they'd have a big um open market type thing set up there every weekend and I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday. There's once during the week, and then on the weekend, and then and just all the the vendors would come and set up their stalls, and it'd be out out in the square. Oh, it was so cool! I loved going there. On uh, the smells and the food and everything, it just it was so cool. That was England. I enjoyed my stay over there. Beautiful people, welcoming. Um, I I hated to leave. I, I didn't want to come back. But we had to. I had my orders, and then we had to ship back to the states. And uh, part of being in the military is the moving from place to place. So I just happened to be lucky enough to spend four years over there in England, so I could bring my family with me. So our my family, uh, Phil, Ed, and Old Grizz, uh, four years in England. Um, one of, one of our kids was born over there. Uh, the other was born just before I went over and then the oldest he was playing s hardball through school over there they had different leagues and stuff and he did pretty good he was a good ball player and um, so he played little league over there he went to school and then we eventually sent him back to the states I think to go to high school so um, I'm going to go ahead and take a break I'm going to work on the rest of this tonight when I get up I'm going to take a uh, I'm going to take a siesta. 
So, I will be back. And once again, thank you for watching. And here's what we got. I'm not sure if I had the mic running when I was doing this build. If I did, we have prairie dogs in a prairie, <laughs> prairie dog family. Andy, Alex, and Mom. Hey, hey, hey. There's some bass. I wonder what it sounded like if I sped it out, sped that up. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're working on um, Alice Frontier. Um, I decided to call this Alice Frontier Square. Uh, buildings that once I get the actual building structures done, I'm going to go into each shop and create that shop for that like particular little square. So, for instance, if they're selling um, um, tacos or something, I, I'll give it a name of the frontier to kind of go with that thing. You know, it just it'll still be a taco, but it'll have a uh, a marketing brand put to it or something like that. We'll we'll like I did with um, um, Ogamar and Ogamar ribs and uh, Stormwind soda. Uh, it's just it's just stuff I created that theme idea and um, that's what I'm doing here too I'm creating this around Alice Frontier I've got a little spot there where she stands and um, I have the camera doing videos when she's out with her audience I think I have a cup a clip here a little bit down the road that shows that you know that shows the crowd standing around watching her and uh, if you remember the first spot I built for her she's right in the pathway look at all the people so if she's right in that pathway she's gonna block that main pathway going around so and that's part of the designing learning to design this stuff is how to create it so you have a flow of people because there's a lot of people in the park now <laughs> Holy cow, um, I could close it and everybody would leave and then reopen it. I think I did that for uh, Winter, Can Winter Candyland one. I, I kind of closed it, emptied it of all the uh, guests and then I reopened it. And that way I could get new guests coming in, taking a look at the, from their point of view without. But then, this looks cool to see all the people. Oh my word. And I said, I, I started enclosing these little shops. And after doing these two buildings and that one there, and I look, well, that looks like her, the whole little area is her square. And then what I'll do is off to the side here, I'll create like a little camp with her Jeep. And that'll be her little spot that um, will make it look like that because she's very instrumental in getting all the flogging established um, she knows the area she knows the animals she knows the trees vegetation um, where is a good place to go and acquired you know um, so she was a good scout and now she's retired and um, working in the park for old Grizz as a, an entertainer as uh, we have Foxy doing for cop for Street Fox Coffee, we have Mr. Beef over there at uh, Iron Forge. Wow, listen to that bass! Wow, holy cow! I didn't know it was like that. Oh, I might have to turn it down a little bit. That's that's Mr. Editor on the bass, by the way. <laughs> that's that's the original bass he learned on. That's his, uh, that's his favorite one. That's the voice of Ed, the bass player that you hear right now. Mr. Editor does the voice. Um, I could, I wonder about something. Let me, let me see. See if we can put some drums to this. Because when I was playing this, I couldn't hear the music. This is all just, I'm just freewheeling it. <laughs> Studio editor drumming. <laughs> <laughs> 
we have the studio drummer drumming and we have Mr. Ed the bass player playing. So cool. <laughs> that getting even um see I gotta watch the time I gotta go to work tonight, so um We got some jamming going on. We're jamming here while we're working on um, Alice Frontiers. Alice Frontier Square. The new addition to the park. It's starting to take shape. Look at all the people. Um, what I've done is I've gone to a couple of the different rides and taken it from the point of view of on the ride. And what it does is, if you notice, there's no overlay. Um, the video camera is good for that, your security cameras, but it always puts that little dot right in the middle. By clicking on a customer or a ride, you can get the, the um, panoramic viewer. Right now, I'm just freewheeling with the, with the controller following the log ride down the, the hill, trying to catch you know some panoramic views and stuff like that. While at the same time, maybe catching stuff in the background, like see the the, the logs going down, the log rides going down, plus catching the, the raft going. <laughs> that took a little bit to get that all worked out in there, but it turned out pretty cool. They're not, they don't interfere with each other. They're both independent, but it looks like they're intertwined. Um, I'm looking at going on the inside of the, the cave or one of these caves. I might put one of those giant spiders in there. That would be a perfect automa animatronic to put in the cave there and kind of give it a, like, a little, oh, scary, you know. Um, but it's a neat ride. I mean, I have this ride, uh, No Brakes Express. We also have a new ride in the park, a new roller coaster, um, the Harbor Run, I think I called it, because it, it actually goes up to where the harbor is. And it's kind of cool, too, because when you're riding on it, I think that there's a, some footage of it here in a little bit. But when you're on the ride looking and it comes in, you see the harbor that I've created so far. It was like, okay, cool. So when I build the portal for Old Grizz to go through to go play warships and come back to the park, bring, you know, It'd be neat to have a warship I could bring. It'd be like a little a little destroyer you could put in the bay or something. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, I don't think we'll ever see anything like that. But there's a lot of stuff in Coaster Planet that you can do. You might even be able to create your own if you take your time to look at the different shapes. Uh, see, this is the ride I was, this is the roller coaster I was talking about. I think I called it Harbor Run. Um, I'm trying to name the different rides and the different shops and give them independent that they're not, that there's a, they're, they're go, oh, look at that. I found this, this, I was, I want an old wooden roller coaster, which is a classic, you know, the, every park, classic park has a old wooden roller coaster. There's just something about them that, see, that's what I'm talking about. There's the harbor. I'm, <laughs> and then I'll put the, oh yeah, I'm going to put the pirate ship in there too. I think I'm going to put a pirate ship in there and I might put a pirate ship in a uh, dry dock like it's being worked on. And we'll, and what we'll do is we'll cover up everything and it'll look like the, uh, the dock and stuff or the, uh, the, oh, we're almost done here. Fill in that old Grizz. Thank you for watching and we shall continue with this build. Oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> There's a um, an audio track right in the way there, so uh, I was having a nice conversation here about um, the park here. It's, it's turning out fantastic. I love the way it looks. So I have the speedway in there, and I, I'm going to finish up these buildings here. This is the uh, Alice Frontier Square. Had to do this last bit again. Okay, we're going to cut print put this one in the can we're gonna post it and put it on the shelf from ELA Studio and Sons thank you everybody for watching we did it thank you everybody good job